Hey guys, Brian Collada here with Train by Tex. Um, I wanted to share a quick tip that uh, one of my friends, uh, Hans Jorgensen, recently uh, was sharing with us in one of the uh, automotive Facebook groups. Um, he was using a first look sensor uh, paired up with a, uh, a conventional stethoscope and was using that to help him pinpoint a, an a, a engine noise. And uh, I thought it was very interesting, uh, especially if you are hearing impaired or, you know, say your ears are just getting uh, uh, weaker <laughs> over time. You know, we're all getting older. Um, or say you just, you just cannot identify this noise and uh, you're looking for an additional way, a new way to, to be able to, to visually see the noise that, that's going on. To help you identify it uh, with these two uh, tools working together you can compare the intensity of the noise from one another and, and prove which component is causing most of the noise within the engine bay but I'm gonna lead you off to uh, hands here and let him do his thing but uh, I wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was interesting and I, I felt that uh, more people need to see things like this so I hope you enjoy thanks for watching here with Train by Tex and Brian asked me to do a video uh, using a first look sensor and a stethoscope. Behind me I have a 2000 Audi A6 with 122,000 miles on it. Customer concern is a high pitched squeal when it's running. They are concerned that it's the t water pump but um, I just want to make sure that it's not. So what I have done is I have my first look sensor to a 5 16 vacuum hose and then I just take the stethoscope off the end plug it in there and now I can visually see with the scope what the noise is. Here is what the scope showing me on the screen. I give it a tap I can see that it's working and showing me what a noise is. On the car we can definitely hear that it's noisy. I'm going to check the water pump first. I move to the power steering pump. Move down and touch the viscous fan roller. Move over to the serpentine belt tensioner roller. AC compressor. And see if I can get on the alternator. Pretty close. So as you see, using a delta sensor and a stethoscope end, I can reach down into the engine and listen to things that I couldn't normally hear. With 122,000 miles on this car, I'm sure there's other stuff that's going to be making noise, and what you can visually see is the serpentine belt roller is definitely my customer's primary concern. The alternator isn't too far behind, but if I replace the alternator first, he's still going to have a problem with the serpentine belt tensioner. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tip and thank you.